Welcome to Amit Smith School. In this video, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic that is the length of three sides of any triangle are given. In this case, we are going to find the in radius of that triangle. And we find this in radius using the perimeter and the area formula. That is, we relate the area with in radius. And finally, we are going to find the relation between in radius and circumradius of any triangle. Let's start with the question that is, what is in radius? The intersecting point of the bisector of three angles of a triangle is in center. The perpendicular distance of the side from that in center is called the in radius. Let's see it. A triangle ABC and the bisector of three angles intersect at a point. This yellow point, this point is in center. And this circle which touches the three sides of this triangle is called the in circle. From this in center, the perpendicular distance of each side, this one is the perpendicular distance from this in center to the side AB, this one is called the in radius. For this triangle ABC, we get such three in radius. Here, also here, and here. Now, the area of triangle and in radius relation. This one is the triangle ABC and the angle bisector meet at a point that is called in center. That is O. The perpendicular distance from this in center to the side is in radius. And for this triangle ABC, the opposite of this A is the length A. Opposite of B is length B. Then opposite of C is the length C. And with these three angle bisector, that is BO, AO, and CO, the whole triangle ABC is divided into three small triangles. Consider this triangle. This one is OBC, where this length is in radius and this one is the length A. For this triangle, if you want to find the area, in that case, the area of this triangle, that is OBC, is half of A into R, half times base times height. Similarly, for the triangle OAC, we get the area is half times B times R. And the for triangle OAB, we have the area half times C times R. Area of the whole triangle is the sum of these three small triangles. So the area of ABC equal to area of OBC plus area of OAC plus area of OAB. Now we are going to find the value of in radius. That is from this relation, if we substitute the value of the area of triangle OBC, OAC and OAB here, that is half times A times R plus half times B times R plus half times C times R. In that case, we can take half of R common from these three terms. In that case, we will get half of R times A plus B plus C. And we know this half of A plus B plus C, which is the half perimeter, that is the value is S. So, we can write this term as R into S. So, we get from here, that is the area of whole triangle is equal to in radius into half perimeter. From here, we can easily find the value of in radius. That is, the value of in radius is equal to area of triangle divided by half perimeter. So, this is our working formula. With this formula, we can easily find the value of in radius for any triangle when the three sides of that triangle are given. Now let's see how can we find the area of triangle when three side lengths are given. That is this one is ABC is a triangle. This A, B and C are three lengths of this triangle. In this case, in this case we have to follow some step to find the area of the triangle. That is, steps are find the perimeter, that is the sum of three sides of this triangle, that is A plus B plus C. 
and half perimeter that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 which we indicated by this s then the area of this triangle will be square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c if we substitute the value of a b c and s here we can easily find the area of triangle and again if we substitute the value of s that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 here 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 also here in that case we can find another formula that is this formula is 1 fourth square root of 2a square b square plus 2b square c square plus 2c square a square minus a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 minus c to the power 4 in this formula if we substitute the value of a b and c we can easily find the area of this triangle this formula is applicable for any kind of triangle let's see one example that is find the in radius of a triangle with sides length 4 6 and 8 units that is for any triangle a b c we we consider the value of a is 8 b is 6 and c is equal to 4 now following the previous steps we just find the area of this triangle that is the perimeter 4 plus 6 plus 8 which is 18 and half perimeter 18 by 2 which is 9 and substitute the value of s and a b and c in the formula we can easily find the area of the triangle which is equal to square root of 135 now according to the formula of in radius that is the value of in radius is equal to the area of triangle divided by s that is half perimeter so in this case the area of triangle is square root of 135 and the value of s is 9 so the value of in radius for this triangle is square root of 135 divided by 9 which is approximately equal to 1.29 unit so in this case value of in radius is 1.29 unit now let's see the relation between circumradius and in radius for any triangle just consider this triangle a b c of side length that is a b and c here this one is our in radius and this one is our circumradius we know the circum circle which passes through the three vertex of this triangle and the in circle which touches three side of this triangle so now let's see the relation between this in radius and the circumradius we know the circumradius is equal to ABC divided by 4 into the area of triangle and the value of in radius R is equal to area of triangle divided by half perimeter. So from here that is the area of triangle is equal to in radius times the half perimeter. From this equation if we substitute the value of this area of triangle here we can relate the circumradius with the in radius. So circumradius R is equal to A B C divided by 4 into the value of this area of triangle which is R into S. So the circumradius R equal to A B C divided by 4 R S. So this is our working formula that is this is the relation between the circumradius and in radius when the side length are given for any triangle and if we want to find the value of in radius from this relation we can easily find the value of in radius which is a b c divided by 4 into the circumradius times the half perimeter so this is our another formula so let's verify it the circumradius r equal to a b c by 4 r s that is 4 times the in radius times half perimeter so for this triangle abc if we substitute the value of abc here for a8 for b6 and for c4 and 4 times the value of in radius we just find it earlier that is 1.29 times this s half perimeter is 9 by substituting all the value in this formula we can find the value of the circumradius which is approximately 4.13 unit if we substitute the value of s here that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 that case we get another simplified formula which is the circumradius r equal to a b c divided by 2 times the in radius times 
the sum of three sides that is a plus b plus c again if we substitute the value of a b c and r here we can get the value of circumradius which is again 4.13 units